Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be going over all the changes coming in WordPress 6.2. Now, WordPress 6.2 is coming out in March 28th of 2023, so let's not waste any more time and let's hop right in. Now you can see here on our test site, I'm using a block theme. Uh, this block theme is called Blockster. And you'll know that you're using a block theme because you'll see the edit site option up here. So with this release, full site editing is actually out of beta. So there's a lot of changes here. So let's go over them. You can see now when you're using the full site editor, there's a new templates option. And this gives you an option to edit all the templates on your site. So for example, if you want to edit your 404 page, you can easily do that with this. Let me hit back here. You can also edit your front page, your single pages, all types of things. This is a great way to easily customize your entire site. For example, if you just want to edit the 404 page, we can go in here and we can add a message and let's center align that real quick, just as an example. And just like that, we've updated our 404 page. And one other thing that you'll notice is that this page has the header and footer available. So you can actually edit your header and footer in line. So if we wanted to change our site name, we could do that. And it would actually edit the header as well on the entire site. And you can see we've already saved that. So let's go back here. And you also see that we can go back to template parts. And this includes things like the comments form, header and footer, and just a great way to overall to see all the parts of your site that are assembled using a block theme. Now there are also a lot of additional style changes and let's dive in. Uh, one big thing is that when you're editing a page, right now we're editing the front page, you can actually click up here to your styles. Um, this isn't new, but there's a lot of new options here. Uh, first of all, since we're using a block theme, we have pre-made styles that the theme developer has actually uh, picked out for us. This is just such a great way to quickly customize your site. We'll go with the dark theme here. And you can see also, if you click this here, we can actually add additional CSS here. Just for an example, let's uh, add a, a body color. And you can see that's one way to add CSS to your site. Obviously, we're not gonna be including that line. So the one thing I love to see here is there's actually a style book now. So if you see this little eye here, you can click style book. And this shows you every type of block that's built into WordPress and how it looks currently on your site. Media, design, I mean, this is just so easy to actually see how your site's gonna look. So let's go and actually show you how this works. So right now we can see all of our type of headings and things like that. Let's say we wanna make all of our headings italic. We can actually do that now with generalized settings like this. Since we're in our style section here, we can go to blocks. And you can see we have every type of block on the site. And we can go to heading, typography, and we can actually pick how the headings will show. But let's say you want everything to be capitalized. You can easily do that now. All of your heading blocks will be capitalized. Just such an easy way to do that. And additionally, you have additional block CSS. So if you want to add CSS just for certain blocks, you can do that in here. So for example, this CSS will only be added when we're using uh, heading blocks. So let's hit back here. And of course you can change the colors, things like that. Uh, we're just using the palette colors here, so we're not gonna change those. So let's go back to our homepage here. We can exit here, exit the styles, and let's add a new navigational block. Now these are already in WordPress, but they've added a lot of new options here. So you can see here, it's a navigation block. And of course it looks like it did before. Let's open our settings panel. And you'll notice now the settings is no longer a gear. It's a little sidebar uh, icon here. So we'll click that. And additionally, they've uh, broken out everything into sections here. So now all your style options are in one uh, tab, all your actual block settings are in one tab. And then for the navigation one, we're actually gonna look at the list view here so we can see the menu items. So we can add a link to Google. So now you can actually edit your navigation items in line, which makes it so easy. I mean, this is just, it was really frustrating to add this before if you've ever used this feature. So that's great. I'm actually gonna hit save here. And you can see here, it actually warns you what you're gonna save. We're gonna update the, the styles here. We're gonna update this navigational block and we're gonna update our front page. So we'll hit save. Now, one other thing that a lot of other uh, block plugins actually do already, but that's finally part of the WordPress core is copying pasting styles. Um, if you've used Gutenberg a lot, you'll know that this is, was extremely annoying to deal with, but let's duplicate uh, this block here. And you can see now we have two text areas. And let's say this one we wanna have small and we wanna have the text be yellow. So now you can click up here and you can click copy styles. So now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna paste our styles in. And just like that, we've uh, updated the styles just with copying and pasting uh, the styles. Obviously, if you've used Elementor, that's a, a popular feature in that. And now it's uh, built into WordPress for the block editor, which is a great addition. And one new thing in the post editor you'll notice is on this little section here, you'll see a distraction free mode. So if you just wanna write with nothing on your screen at all, this is an easy way to do this. And of course you can still use slash to add headings and things like that. 
And you can see we actually have the style that we changed here. It's capitalized. And if you want to exit this mode, you can just hover over near the top here and we can just turn it off. And one other thing they've added is also the Openverse uh, compatibility here. Um, if you're not familiar with the Openverse, it's a basically a free stock photo site by WordPress uh, for anybody to use. So if you actually go down here, hit the plus, um, right now it's only in the plus section, which I find kind of odd. It actually won't show up in your normal media browser, but you can see here we have a media tab and we can have the images on our site here, or we can do the open verse. Um, and this is great because you can just search any free stock photo to use. Um, we can type in like cool gradient. If you're building a hero uh, section, I mean, that's great right there. And you can see here, it's going to insert a external image on our site. So it's just warning us of that. So we'll hit insert and look at that. Now we have a cool gradient on our site with the credit. So let's actually go to the back to the dashboard for the last change we're gonna go over. Um, it's actually in the media tab. And if you work a lot with media in WordPress, you'll know the frustration of uh, this, especially if you work with PDFs or you're trying to send things. You can see now there's a download file option. So if you have an image on your site you wanna download, you can download it just like that. Overall, WordPress 6.2 adds a ton of great features to WordPress. I'm really happy to see how the block themes are growing. Um, I'm personally still not using one yet, but if you're starting a new WordPress site, uh, it's definitely a great time to get started with using a block theme. There's also plenty of improvements under the hood, including performance enhancements and things like that to make updates work faster. I'll include a link to wordpress.org with all of those technical details in the description of this video. And I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks again for watching and check out more WordPress tips and tricks on smartwp.com. See ya.